DMHA, the return of the strongest stimulant ever. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little re-review on this DMHA. To be honest, DMHA and DMAA are supplements that I actually really like when I have a long day. I started initially testing out DMAA, then I tested out Am Citrate, and this is my final review on DMHA on the second time testing it. DMHA was initially my most recommended bulk stimulant, my probably most impressive bulk stimulant. And then if you've been following my channel, I came across something called Amp Citrate, where I actually feel Amp Citrate was most of this feeling, but I felt that it was a little bit shorter lasting. This is supposed to last a very long time, I think up to nine to 11 hours. The Amp Citrate, I would see myself getting tired around five to six hours same amount of feeling but just less a little bit less tax on your body with the amp citrate and at the end of this video i will let you know is this supplement still the king is this the best supplement ever or is amp citrate better dmha is the second strongest bulk stimulant that they offer on the website dmha and dmaa there's a lot of hearsay about them sometimes people will say they're super strong sometimes they'll say they'll take tons of scoops and they won't feel anything apparently there's two different types of DMHA. Sometimes it could take a lot of the original DMAA and I will feel it, sometimes I won't feel it. There's a lot of confusion with this. There is a big crowd, a lot of people out there who actually prefer the effects of DMHA to DMAA. And then there's also a lot of people vice versa, but I've pretty much had the most people like the DMHA. And I think a few times I did take it under my tongue. I just wanna say, if you do take this under your tongue, it does taste really bad and it will be more effective. So if you already have a dose of this, and you're planning on taking some under the tongue, you could probably take a little bit less because it will be very effective. This is one of the reasons that it took me so long to make this video, but I took DMHA early on. I, I forget what it was, not the right dose, quite a bit. I, I could have already felt energy and so I was giving myself too much. I could have already had caffeine, whatever. I just felt way too amped on this. I took too much, it just wasn't the right time. So I kind of took a little break from it and I was like, wow, like I'm surprised that I liked the DMAA and then I come to the DMHA and then the DMHA felt too strong. When, when I tried it before, I, I felt the opposite. Before, I liked the DMHA and the DMAA was too strong. I was like, now the DMHA is too strong? Like This is just so confusing, right? I ended up trying this a, a few more times and I actually really, really, really do like this stuff, guys. And it actually is relatively safe. Let's jump into the pros of this supplement. The pros is that it has a very, very good balance of energy to euphoria. I have felt a little too amped, a little bit too anxious on this stuff, but that's when I've taken way, way too much. One time I took like one scoop in my drink and it actually felt like a really refreshing energy drink. I was not anxious whatsoever. I was not jittery whatsoever. It was just a nice little energy boost. And then my most recent time, I, I get a huge gallon of water when I go snowboarding. Usually by the time of the end of the day, I'm almost done with the jug of water. So I put, I think both times, about two scoops of DMHA in my water. Throughout the day, I just felt great. And then as soon as I left snowboarding, I felt great. Something about the slow administering of the DMHA. I didn't really feel a lot of peaks and valleys, but I just was like, wow, I felt really good. You know, not amped, not too much, but I'm like ready to engage, ready to talk, ready to just do whatever. I actually really like DMHA at a somewhat reasonable dose. Like I probably wouldn't want to go over a scoop and a half at one time. And if I were to do two, two and a half scoops, put one in a big drink taken throughout the day, and then the option to have some other water in case it gets too strong. The best pro to this one is it has very, very exotic energy effects. And in my opinion, I've had some other bulk stimulants to where sometimes you just feel it pushing your body. This one is a little bit more balanced. Like when you feel it push your body, most of the time I would get these slight little bits of euphoria. So it, instead of it feeling like it pushes your body, you're just kind of in the zone. Hard to describe, but very, very good energy effects. If you wanna be safe, you could have one scoop and it'll probably feel like a mild energy drink. And if you want more of an amp feeling, you could slightly go up from there. I will say that this is probably a little bit safer than DMAA as well. Really don't have too, too many cons, but the number one is probably going to be it is very very strong it's not as strong as dma but it is very strong so if you were to take too much of this or go crazy you're not going to be feeling good uh your, your body is going to be really taxed really pushed and you're just absolutely not going to like it so you make sure that you don't take too much of this stuff because it is actually a lot stronger and lasts a lot longer than caffeine it isn't as strong
long as DMA, so if you're somebody who likes that or you're taking any sort of uh, prescription, ADD medication, anything like that, you may want something like the DMA. This one isn't gonna have as much of a push per the milligram and then also a DMAA. DMAA I think is 10 more dollars than this one. DMAA, you get a lot more servings. Those are pretty much the only cons though. It's actually really well priced and a very good value for the energy. The taste isn't that bad and you don't need that much. Like I was saying, most of the time you take like, for a normal person just trying this, one scoop if you're advanced, like probably a scoop and a half once you get used to it, two scoops. But I know with one scoop, I don't even taste almost anything because when you have something like teacrine or like amp citrate they're really really bitter and you really can't put them in your drinks so this is just really well rounded most people are probably just going to want to add this to a drink and it's nice not to have to worry about putting it in a pill because it's so bitter things like that so who do i recommend this for is this the best bulk stimulant i'm going back to this is my favorite bulk stimulant once again the only reason it beat out amp citrate is amp citrate is the only bulk stimulant that i've actually finished a full bag of somebody on my comment section wrote to me hey that's funny because dmha actually gave me less anxiety than amp citrate right so i actually really just tried amp citrate recently and i did notice the kind of anxiousness that i was getting a little bit of a too much push that i was getting that i didn't really notice with the dmha the dmha it's kind of get a little bit of i don't want to say euphoria because you're not like off the deep end or anything but you kind of get more in the zone with this you don't really feel like oh wow my heart's beating fast you're kind of just into whatever you're doing with the amp citrate I actually did feel that little bit of an anxious push. I really did like the exoticness to this. It helped the energy, but it was almost less noticeable that you took a stimulant and that's what I wanted. And on top of that, it lasts longer than amp citrate. So it just seemed to be an overall very good product. One of the best feeling products, plenty of energy. Another really big pro of this versus amp citrate is the taste. For some reason, amp citrate just tastes so bad. I feel like they all taste about the same, but almost every time I mix amp citrate, it tastes really, really bad. This one you could put, like I said, one scoop in probably like a soda or something. You won't taste almost anything. I put two scoops in my water. I didn't taste anything whatsoever. I had no other flavorings in it. It was a gallon, but this is my favorite bulk stimulants or my highest recommended one. It seems to cover the most bases, barely beating out amp citrate. It's weird that I kind of had a little bit of a fare with amp citrate before and now I've kind of come back to DMHA because if you take one scoop, you're gonna feel it, you're gonna have great effects, but it's not gonna be crazy. You're not it's probably gonna have a little bit less anxiety than amp citrate and it's just gonna be there in the background, just what I want. It's DMHA for me, again, it's going to be the king. I end up kind of switching my lists around. This will probably change in the future, but for right now, really, really like DMHA and I've actually turned one of my buddies on to trying a bunch of these stimulants. We ended up liking the DMHA kind of the best. A quick little side note when I was giving them stuff, I gave my friend three to four scoops of DMAA in the morning and then I gave him three to four scoops of DMAA again in the afternoon and he said he felt kind of tired but I gave him like two, two and a half scoops of this and a pill and he said it was just crazy. And then I also wrote some people in the bulk stimulants, people who actually work for bulk stimulants. He said one of his go-tos was DMHA as well. So DMHA seems to be a top choice from other people and it is a top choice from me. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. I couldn't do without any of you guys. Let's hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.